Hey guys, welcome back. This is my second update on the whole coronavirus thing. It's been two weeks since my last one, so I thought I'll just give another update of how things are here in Korea, especially now that South Africa is deep in the coronavirus infections and stuff like that. First of all, we heard from Korean government and stuff that schools have been postponed for another two weeks. So schools are supposed to start next week, the 23rd, but public schools are starting only on the 6th of April now. So there's a whole lot of complications between Agwans. Some Agwans have already told their teachers that they are closed till the 6th of April. We haven't heard anything yet personally. So we will probably go in next week and then you gauge how, how many students are there and then are there enough students to teach and then the Agwan will probably stay open or the Agwan will close, but that's what happens. So now the government has said public schools will be closed for another two weeks. So the 6th of April is when public schools will start again. I know in South Africa, you guys, schools have closed now from the 18th until the 16th of April. So yeah, that's the period that's similar to what's been happening now. And then, yeah, that comes from government, comes down, and how things are. So it's going to be probably another two weeks of not being able to do anything, another two weeks of not being able to teach, another two weeks of sitting at home, watching series, trying to go out and stuff like that as well. So since stuff have happened, since the last time, Korea was second on the list. Now, as you can see, Korea is eighth on the list, guys. We are eighth on the list. Italy has exploded. Iran has exploded, Spain, Germany, the USA, and they having struggles with their testing and stuff like that. France, and then you can see South Korea, and the UK is not far behind. The reason why Korea exploded very early was because we were testing 10,000 people a day. That's the highest rate of testing that was conducted in the world so far. So they were testing 10,000 people a day. So they tested over 260-something thousand people in that period since the first corona case. So that's why our numbers are high. Our numbers are going up, but they are going up very slow compared to that first two weeks, first month, because they were getting big batches in of like 500 results, 500 results per day. So those numbers were shooting up pretty high. And that's why they're talking about lowering or flattening the curve, because that's what Korea was doing. That drastic, hectic, um, getting into the testing and making sure people are restricted from movement, that is what was needed. And that's the good thing about what South Africa is doing at the moment as well. We don't want to have the situation where you have to think like this, right? We have to think like this, the toilet paper is your precious situation. Don't be those people and please don't overbuy. Don't overbuy. Please try not to overstock. That isn't happening. I mean, these are situations of what's been happening in the UK. This is what the shelves look like in the UK and a lot of places in South Africa also. Hand sanitizers going out, tetel and stuff are going out. Guys, don't overbuy. Don't overbuy. This is what it looks like in the shopping markets in Korea, right? We have plenty of it. I took this yesterday. I took this yesterday. I walked to my local shop. I took this yesterday. There is plenty of toilet paper, plenty of hand sanitizers and stuff like that here by us. No one's overstocking. You buy what you need. Also, don't contribute to that. Like, don't try and think, oh, I'm going to buy. In case, buy what you need, guys. Buy fruit, vegetables, food, buy what you need. There are so many people that if there's nothing on the shelves, they won't be able to afford anything or won't be able to get anything. So please buy what you need. To wash your hands. Wash your hands. Keep yourself clean. I always say the main thing is make sure you are not at risk. Because if you don't put yourself at risk, you have no risk of getting the virus and you will be putting yourself others at the risk of getting the virus as well. Stick to the quarantines. Don't go out. Don't go to bars. We slowly now started getting back into normal, normal stuff, normal daily routines, slowly, more restaurants and stuff. Start opening for a bit longer than what they did. But that's now because our curve is, our peak has started going down and you don't want your peak to start going skyrocketing up like how Italy and Europe is what's happening in Europe at the moment. It's insane, guys. It's insane. Especially if you if you don't abide by the laws. South Africa is putting very good laws, very good guidelines to what has been done. It's very strict. Copied a lot of what happened here in Korea. Stopping 
mass gatherings, hundred people stopping churches from gathering, stopping fuel. Those are all very important things to just keep that curve down in the beginning. You don't want to have an explosive um, exponential rate, <laughs> exponential curve going up for what happens when the virus starts contacting. If you could, if you are infecting five people and they infect five people and they infect five people, it's insane. You'd rather have one person to one or slow it down a bit. Just make sure you are safe. Make sure your hands are clean. Make sure you are safe. I know masks and stuff are hard to find, so don't wear You don't need to get masks. Just like if you do, masks are mainly if you are sick and stuff like that. So if you do feel you're sick or you have a cold, or wear a scarf or something, or wear a scarf or put toilet, a hanky or a tissue. Make sure you cough into those things or cough into your elbow and stuff like that. That's how you stop this period. Just get the curve flattened. Get the thing down. <laughs> get the interactions with people down. Social distancing is a real thing. I've been in my house now for like two months. I've gone out three three times in this two months period. Just because you need social interaction every now and then. But then when we go out with friends and stuff like that, we all wearing masks, got gloves on. You sit across from one another. I know in some restaurants, there's like a board. They have a Perspex um, screen in front so you can still talk to people, but there's no cause of fluid. So if you cough, there's nothing going to that person. And that's how it is. That's a reality we have to deal with now, guys. You guys need to learn to, people just need to learn to stay inside, stop, like stop going out. You don't need to go out for this now. Just chill. If you need to go out, only for main things if you need to only for important things but be active though don't just sit at home and sit in bed be active try and do a bit of exercises and stuff like that i try and do exercises now and then so it's always good to just keep your body fit otherwise you start cramping the other day my leg went off was in the first two weeks my legs started cramping because i'm not moving and stuff like that so yeah started i started going out more started taking more walks and stuff like that but it was once that first two weeks, so you know there's nothing wrong with you. You know you're not going to get any flu. You're not going to get any colds. Take multi if you do have a cold and stuff like that. Take multivitamins. Try and get multivitamins. Just keep your immune system strong. Because even if you are young and healthy, the virus can still get to you. And then there might just be something that gets straight into your lungs, and you might just end up having problems and stuff like that. You never know. So just keep your immune system boosted. Keep your immune. If you know that you're a very sickly person, keep your immune system boosted and stuff like that. It's very important. I like the fact that South Africa also gave a lot of strict rules with nice information packages. I have sent, I have put all the links down at the bottom so you can guys can just click on all those links. And then also I've added, this is the website. So this is South Africa's online website. You can see there's the WhatsApp number. You can just add that WhatsApp number, send it, Send it to WhatsApp and it will give you automatic updates or it will give you updates on what coronaviruses are. There's the emergency number is also attached here, but this is the main online resource for South Everything. I know they have the travel regulations on there. They have all the other webs, all the other departments' regulation stuff are on that website. It's nice and very interactive. It's very easy to use. And I went through it and it's very simple. So this is for you guys in South Africa. Please, guys, please. Try and flatten that curve, keep the numbers down, and try not to infect others. Look after yourself, wash your hands, don't touch your face, don't greet people with hands. <laughs> if you touch your face, just make sure you wash your hands. Don't want to keep clean, keep yourself clean, and you'll be okay. Put yourself less at risk, and you'll be fine. What you, that's all the most important thing. Be safe, guys. Look out after there, and hope you guys have an awesome time. Enjoy the quarantine. You're going to watch lots of series. Enjoy the quarantine. Be safe. I hope you guys recover well, and I hope nothing happens to any of you guys or your family. It's a serious thing, guys. I know South Africa was making a lot of jokes in the beginning, and now they realize what it's serious. It is a real serious thing, guys. Be very. It's very important. There are a lot of people affected, and they might be and might blow up in South Africa because we don't have the best types of systems there. But it might blow up there. Oh, another thing. I know South Africa is charging one thousand four hundred rand. But this and stuff like that, so just watch out. You all get tested, you must also get a referral from a doctor, and there are designated sites where you have to get tested. That's already been put in place. 
So please just keep that in mind. I know stuff aren't free at the moment, but don't worry about it. If you feel like you're going to have a contact the numbers and get the guidance mm -hmm. from those people as well. But all is well, guys. Hope you guys will be fine. Cheers, guys. Keep well.